Hi guys, it's Modesty and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an all vegan, cruelty free makeup look. Everything on my face is vegan. Everything. From the primer to the foundation, lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, brows, everything is vegan and I love it. Like, you can get a bang and make a look, make a look with only vegan. So, I mean, I know I'm not one to talk, I know I'm one to talk because I do use MAC sometimes, but I think it's so cool that brands are moving more towards cruelty free because really, it's makeup is not a necessity. There's no point in testing on animals and harming animals for your face, you know what I'm saying? I mean, in some cases, like when it comes to like eating, like what you eat, like I, I get it. Like I eat steak, I eat chicken, I'm not a vegan, but I mean, it's your face. It's like, an, like makeup is like an accessory. You don't need to be testing on animals for that. So I think it's really cool that so many brands are going a cruelty free. I mean, look, you can get an amazing look with not testing on animals. So I really wanted, to, I thought it was really important to do this video and to share it with you guys just to show you the awesome looks that you can create with vegan makeup. So, if you'd like to see how to get this vegan makeup look, I will have all products linked down below. Then, just keep on watching. Always have to start off by priming your eyes. You want to prime your eyes before you put on the tape, because the tape might go off. So, I like, so a really good vegan, cruelty-free eyeshadow base is the So Susan Cosmetics Shadow Barricade, right here. This stuff is really, really, really nice. Uh, you do have to work one eye at a time because it does dry quickly, but it's really opaque. It's about the shade of um, uh, MAC Paint Pot in the shade Ochre, so it really covers up those dark circle, not dark circles, but it really comes up, covers up those dark veins that you might get, and it really prevents my shadow from creasing. The first cruelty-free eyeshadow I'm going in with is from the Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette Number 2 in Do Your Squats. They have three palettes, I think they might have more now, but um, they do donate 20% to help benefit women. 20% goes to, you know, different women's charities and things like that, I, which is awesome. On top of that, they're cruelty-free, so just all around, I really appreciate this brand. It has these nine shadows in and I'm going in with the shade Beloved right here. The shade Beloved is a really, really good transition shade, especially when you are a little bit tanner. If you're super fair, it's going to be a little too dark for a transition shade, but you can still work it into your crease and will look just fine. I'm buffing this into my crease and I'm going all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm getting a lot of the pigmentation on the outer V and I'm going to be bringing it up a little bit just so that it looks nice and seamless and it's going to be a blown out smoky eye. The next shade I will be working with is in the So Susan. This is the eyeshadow palette in Midnight Goddess. It's the liquid powder shadow palette. I'm gonna get, taking this orange shade right here just to bring in some orange into the look because you know orange is really good for the fall time. I will be using the exact same brush as I used for the shade Beloved from the Do Your Squats palette. I will also be working this into the crease in the same manner. I just won't bring it up as high as the shade Beloved. Look at that difference with the orange and without it, it's so pretty. I love this shade of orange. I will be going back into the Do Your Squats palette. I will be taking the shade Dreams on a super precise brush. This is Morphe M562. Sigma makes a very similar one that I prefer, but it's way too dirty to use. And I'm going to be using a very small brush to really be precise, and I'm just going in my crease and a little bit down. I will be going back into the Midnight Goddess palette and be picking up this green right here, and I'm be putting this on the inner corner of my eye and halfway in. Going back in the palette and picking up this purple and I'm going to be putting it on the outer half of my eye. I 
right, I'm going to be going back into the Do Your Squats palette and picking up the shade Dreams again. And going right here just to kind of help blend all that together. And then I'm going to be going back into the orange shade one more time just to touch up that upper part. Okay, so to combine these two, I want to take a little bit of a shimmer shade. So I am going into the Jelly Pong Pong Dream Palette right here. It has just four shimmer shades. I'm going to be taking this bronzy one right here. And I'm going to be just taking it on my finger and just touching it right here and that's really just to combine those two and add a little bit more dimension to the look i'm going to be doing some eyeliner i'm going to be doing some gel liner today Let's see if i'm out of practice or not i'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara this is the wet n wild mega plump mascara um, the mascaras from Wet n Wild are vegan, which I love. In fact, I think most of, I think basically 99% of Wet n Wild is vegan. And I know that they don't test on animals at all, but um, I think like only a couple of shades here and there of anything um, isn't vegan. But um, yeah, I really, I really enjoy Wet n Wild for that reason. And on top of that, like their products are really good. All right, I'm going to go apply some false lashes and I'll be right back. We are moving on to the face. I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. primer, the Illuminating Face Primer. All of e.l.f.'s primers are vegan and cruelty-free, so I'm going to be going in with this just to help illuminate my face. And I just love how it feels, makes my skin nice and smooth and dewy looking. It's really, really nice. It's only like $6. Other One Wild makes vegan foundations, and it's such a good foundation too. Like, it's a cult favorite. It has a little cruelty-free bunny right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this with a sponge today. Because um, all my other brushes are super dirty. Alright, I'm just taking just a tid more just for this blemish right here because I think it's hideous and it is not going away. I'm just going to gently tap to keep that coverage there. Alright, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of the shadow base right here. I know this might look strange, but I do this because my foundation always disappears where my sunglasses sit. And I've noticed when I use um, eyeshadow primer underneath the concealer that it doesn't happen. So, and the, I set my face and everything, so I'm just going to press this in with my finger. blending in with a sponge. So for concealer, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It's in the same line and I am in the shade Light Medium Beige. And put it right here. I'm also going to be taking the Wet n Wild, before I blend that in, the Con Megalo Contour Stick. I love this thing. Seriously guys, if you want a vegan brand, Wet n Wild is where it's at. I'm going to be taking the conceal one just for under here. Forgot underneath my lip. I'm going to be taking my sponge and blending it all in. For setting powder, I'm taking the RCMA Original No Color Powder. This is vegan and cruelty-free. RCMA is a cruelty-free vegan company. I use their foundations a lot of time for my clients because I do get clients who request cruelty-free makeup and they have a really good foundation palette. Uh, and I like their setting powder as well. Just gonna take a clean brush and sweep away all that excess powder. Alright, so I just set my face with some spray while that dries. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my brows. For my brows, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. This brow pencil is identical to the Anastasia Brows. I did do a video on it just showing you how good of a dupe it is, and I will link that down below if you are curious. But yeah, these are really inexpensive, and I love how they make my brows look.
We are going to be moving on to the under eye and be taking the purple right here. Next, I'll be taking the orange in the palette and I'll be spoking it out with the M562 that I showed you guys earlier. Alright, moving on to the rest of the face, I will be taking the Spun Bronzer from Trifle Cosmetics. It has more like a red undertone, but it looks super pretty when you go in with a light hand. But look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. For blush, I'm taking a Trifle Cosmetics Cheek Souffle. This is a really unique formula. It literally is like a putty in here, but you just pick it up like you would with a normal brush, and it dries and applies like a powder. Like, it's so weird. Like, you can literally just softly blend it out, even though it's like, like a cream. It's so weird, but I love it. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, so for highlighter, I am taking the Jelly Pong Pong Wonder Gleam Highlighting and Blush Palette. All three of these are highlights. I like to combine all three. I know they look like super crazy right here, but trust me, it does not transfer onto the skin like that. It's actually really, really, really nice. I'm going to be mixing the bronze and the kind of champagne shade. I'm going to be taking it on a Sigma Accentuate Highlight Brush, the F56. It's really good for like an all-over highlight, and then once I want to accentuate it, I will be taking my Powder Sweep from Sigma and picking up the Champagne shade and going right here and the bronze shade. And then you get a really nice highlight. I like to cup the eye with highlighter like that. and you are highlighted. All right, and for the lips, I'm gonna be taking the So Susan Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Peach, Peach Nude, which I would go really good with this look. Mm -hmm. I do want to take a little bit of Give Me Mocha. I wanna have like an ombre lip. This is also vegan from White Wild. That's the color. Mixing those two together, yep. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you if you enjoyed this type of video, give it a big ol' thumbs up so I know to keep doing more cruelty-free makeup looks for you guys. And give me a comment down below on, you know, some of your favorite brands that are cruelty-free and vegan. So maybe there's some that I haven't heard about that I want to test out. So just let me know in the comments what you already know about. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Modesty Jean. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope you want to stick around by subscribing to my channel or checking out another video before you leave. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.